just in time for a potential world battle, we have Americans waking up to the smell of poop. We've got women standing up for themselves. We've got men exposing the bull crap, and we've got organizations starting to realize that things might not just be making sense. Let's take a look. And if you're like, pumpkin spice pronouns, what are you talking about? This lady is crazy. Shut up, silly woman. Well, first of all, I'm not a lady. What the fuck are you talking about? It's better not to assume somebody's gender, but I understand why you would, because we've been conditioned to do so, right? I do like to use the pronoun gal. I do like to call my wife my wife, but that does not mean that we like other terms. <laughs> And our first article today is going to be from the Daily Mail. Roanoke College women's swim team captains revealed demoralizing struggle to try and convince trans students not to compete on their squad. To try and convince trans students. Okay, what's going on here? Why do they have to convince the trans students to not compete? Shouldn't that just be maybe convincing the college to not let that happen? Maybe the wording's weird. A member of the Roanoke College swim team competed in the men's competition, took a year off, and in September joined the women. Three captains from the team told Daily Mail about the trauma trans swimmers' decisions caused and agonizing confrontations that ensued. The three are now demanding that colleges nationwide provide a blueprint, a blueprint for dealing with such scenarios, arguing they were left to fend for themselves. I like the idea of demanding colleges nationwide provide a blueprint in dealing with such scenarios. Uh, we might have an answer for that in the last article. So let's see what happened here. A group of elite women swimmers at Virginia University are demanding urgent action to protect their sport after transgender student joined their team, leaving the coaches and athletes demoralized, angry, and unsure how to cope. The trans student identify the the trans student informed staff at Roanoke College in September that she uh -huh, wished to swim she wished to swim on the women's team after sitting out the previous season while transitioning. The year before the trans swimmer had competed in the men's team. The case bears strong echoes of that of Leah Thomas. Who, the last, who last year became the first transgender athlete to win an NCAA Division I National Championship and set off a firestorm of controversy. One of these things is not like the other. Speaking exclusively to Daily Mail, the three captains of the swim squad said they felt abandoned by their university and let down by the NCAA National College. Why would you do that? That's exactly what the NCAA stands for. Is there like a word count? A word quota. They described the stress of being told they had to confront to the trans swimmer themselves and make their case. Oh, <laughs> so the school's all like, uh-uh, I'm not going to do it. You are pathetic. Only for the trans swimmer to tell them she felt suicidal and desperate to be included. That's like uh, when the ex is, when your ex is all like, I'm going to kill myself. Oh my God. That's the worst fucking strategy so we got three real women on a women's swim team trying to fight for their rights to compete against other women good on them we need more of this there's so many grown-ups around that should be making these decisions said kate pearson 19 well you're 19 years old you're technically still a grown-up i know it's weird but you're doing the right thing and it is jacked up that the school said go deal with it yourself that's part of their job. It's just a hot mess. I was like, what's happening? You're absolutely right. They should be regulating this themselves and they shouldn't be pushing it back on the athletes and students. I completely agree. We keep getting put in these situations and it was so stressful. And every single night we're discussing this through discussing that. I'm going to bed at 3 a.m. Just thinking about it, thinking what could happen? What couldn't happen? Constantly stressed crying just all the time every single day we just could not get a break from it and we have studies they just want to swim and now they just want to swim and go to school and now you're making them have to f possibly face some sort of social ramifications like the fact that they did this took balls uh probably has a lot more balls than the swimmer trying to join their team there's no blueprint for this which is also why we want to stand up and get our voices heard i i, I think these girls are absolutely right 
good on them. And we, we need more of this. I hope, I hope this inspires. Um, we've got Riley Gaines out there trying to help out with the, this whole situation. And, and I hope that these women are able to get uh, the peace they deserve. It's it's just it's I'd say justice, but there's no one there's nothing happening yet. But they definitely deserve the peace, and they shouldn't have to worry about this crap. They just want a fair and level playing field. Let's see. Roanoke College told Daily Mail that they have never made any decision about allowing the trans swimmer to participate. Cop out. Don't come after us. Don't come after us. We didn't say anything. Uh, I believe the people you're worried about are the ones that also believe that silence is violence. While the college leadership was reviewing NCAA and national sports policies on eligibility, the student withdrew her request before any decision had been made. The three women said the college position was news to them as they had always been told the swimmer was a member of their squad and she had trained alongside them. They said the college was dodging responsibility. Yeah, that's what I've been. That's everything that I've seen from what the college said. That's exactly what I've been thinking. They don't want to be held accountable to any decision that could be seen as politically incorrect. There's no other way to put it. What might be some good guidelines? You know what? I was going to say that, say this for last, but we're going to do this one next. Just like this article from The Guardian, where the Swimming World Cup category for transgender athletes canceled after no entries received. Open category on hold after no entrance in Berlin World Aquatics says it will try inclusive initiative again. So this isn't the first time they've tried this and no one signed up. Where's all these trans swimmers that like to go and win at having a chance to compete against other trans to say, I'm the best trans in the world. This is the world championships, the world cup. You can say you're the best trans swimmer in the world. They don't want that. They could be the first best world trans, best trans swimmer in the world. It's all a bunch of horse crap. World Aquatics plans to debut an open category for transgender athletes at the World Cup in Berlin this week have been canceled after no entries received. Swimming's governing body, which voted last year to ban transgender women from elite female category, had promised to stage the pioneering pilot project to promote its unwavering commitment to inclusivity, welcoming swimmers of all sex and gender identities. I wonder... If it came out that like the trans swimmers, all five of them, I, there's not, a, there, there can't be many of them, right? Maybe there's three and you would have gotten a medal either way if there was only three. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe they were all like, well, I'm, I'm going to boycott this now because I can't swim as a woman because that's what I identify as. Even though science says otherwise, you can identify as whatever you want when you're an adult, but the science will say otherwise. And there's a reason why men and female don't compete against each other in sports. There's a reason we, we, the Olympics have been on around for a very long time. And there's always been a separate female and male 100 yard dash, right? No one in the WNBA can make it into the NBA. Nope, not going to happen. Otherwise they would already be there because the NBA would one, take advantage of that would totally love to see that, but they know no one, they, they wouldn't play. No one would watch it unless they were actually talented enough. So World Aquatics decision to bar transgender women from elite female comp competitions if they had undergone male puberty came after research showing trans women's retained a significant advantage over female swimmers, even after reducing their testosterone levels, their testosterone levels through medication. Back to that studies, right? Another factor in its vote in June of 2022 was the success of American Leah Thomas, who had been a moderate college swimmer as a male competitor, but won the NCAA national college title in the women's category after transitioning. Over the past 12 months, several other sports bodies, including athletics and cycling, have gone down similar paths, but World Aquatics is the first major Olympic sports to attempt to create a third category for competition separate to men's and women's events, which I think is honestly the best way to go about this, right? Um, then there's no room for argument from either side, except one side just is never, ever happy. But look, 
they didn't want to compete against each other. They just want to compete against women. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. They didn't. They. I don't know why. Any, I, I can't understand why they wanted to sign up for this. They must not be that serious about it. Last article is probably the funniest. Men invade tech job fair for women after lying about being non-binary. Notice the lying is in quotes because uh, don't want to be a bigot. Attendees of the largest gathering of women seeking careers in STEM fields are livid after scores of men invaded the tech job fair because they allegedly lied about being non-binary. Videos across social media showed men racing to meet with potential recruiters at the annual Grace Hopper celebration event held in Orlando between blah, 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 a job fair specifically aimed at helping women and non-binary technologists. How do you know they're, how do you know if they're non-binary or not? I mean, they said they are. Now you're going to accuse them of taking advantage of this. The female attendees, some of whom paid about $1,300, $1,300 per ticket for a chance to network with recruiters have blasted the cisgender men for skip. Now you see that's not in quotes have blasted the cisgender men for skipping all the panels and seminars in order to beat the women to the recruiting lines. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a race. Okay, one, if you're paying $1,300 to go to one of these things, I don't know. That, that, that seems like a bit of a grift if you ask me. You need a job? Come here. But give us a lot of money. While cisgendered men are not prohibited from attending the event, as they have done so in previous years, Anita B, the company that organized the seminar, said the men came out in higher numbers this year by skirting the rules. So maybe they were misunderstanding. Maybe they, maybe they didn't know they had to sign up as nine. They didn't have to sign up as nine non-binary. I mean, I would think a woman's only event would mean you wouldn't have any biological men i'm not calling them cisgender i only read from the article uh, that's not what i'll call them while real men are not prohibited from attending this event then i don't see what the problem is you know there's certain people that just don't don't buy into any of this due to religion or whatever wouldn't be surprised if they took advantage of that but what do i know yesterday it became clear that there are far greater numbers of real men attending than we anticipated Anita B. Chief Impact Officer Colin White said in a statement Simply put, some of you lied when you registered and as evidenced by the stacks and stacks of resumes you're passing out you did so because you thought they could come here and take space to try and get a job, he added So it's a dude gatekeeping dudes White noted that the men also took discounted academic tickets for the event, as well as interview slots that were supposed to go to women and actual non-binary attendees who remain minorities in STEM fields. Lily Lee, a product designer who attended the seminar, blasted the state of the annual conference, noting some of the cisgendered men shoved, their, shoved and physically hurt other attendees in their rush to the job booths. Where's the video? I've I've seen the videos. I did not see any of those videos. That sounds like bullcrap. Lily, Lily, come on, let's see it. Lee ultimately said the organizers failed to provide a safe space for women to try and further their careers without men trying to take advantage of it for themselves. Well, if men aren't prohibited, why why is this an issue? If men are prohibited. I think you're lying. The problem is competition is not fair for everyone. That's why women conferences exist to levels of playing fields because women are highly discriminated against in tech, she said. Now look, okay, I know this is anecdotal. I have worked in tech for, I don't know, six or seven years now. I work in software and for all but one of those years, I've worked for a woman I've worked with a ton of women. Um, maybe you need to now. I don't, I don't live in, well, I kind of live in a tech Mecca, but it's not because of, it's not like Austin or San Francisco or anything like that. Like Phoenix is 
a lot of people put their servers out here because we don't have natural disasters. So yeah, there's tech in Arizona. Sure, the numbers, sure, uh, there's probably way more men than women, but I mean, you know, it's not that maybe there's just a difference in men and women being interested in different things. Anyways, people are uh, waking up to the bullcrap. It's it's just a game. It's really a game, and they're trying to... Uh, and these women at the Roanoke College are doing the right thing, standing up for what they believe in, standing up for themselves. The, the I, I don't know why no one signed up for the uh, transgendered category in the uh, Swimming World Cup. I've, I've, I can't imagine why that didn't happen. And uh, dudes saying they're non-binary to get to try and get jobs because, you know, everyone needs a job. Things aren't really going so well. Good on them. Do whatever you can to get a job. Same for women. You should be doing the same thing if that's what you want to do. You know? Tell me what do you think. I think this is a great sign of Americans waking up to horse crap, to bullshit, and uh, I hope we get to see more of it. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, have a good one.